I've been keeping up with this scene of YouTube recently, and I've noticed a trend to take an absolute heaving shit on English commenters. And that's all fine and dandy. There's plenty of people hating on things on the internet. I'm not surprised in the least. But then I saw this. Stream etiquette. If you're watching a VTuber stream in Japanese or another language you don't understand, there's some things to keep in mind. It's what I would call the culmination of the opinions of various people who have weighed in on the issue on Reddit or other such places of interest and just as I expected when I open it it's terrible Here's the actual full list of things that you're supposed to do on VTuber streams. Have common sense. Have common courtesy. What in the fuck? Listen, I know it's hard to believe and hard to understand, but there is no such thing as common sense or common courtesy. You can see people use the words in a list like this. Do A, do B, do C, and then instead of saying do D, they say, or just in general, have common sense. What they mean when they say that is, I have run out of things to say, and I'm not smart enough to actually fill in the list, so I'll just leave this here to appear as if I actually thought things through. So when I open your fucking list, and it's literally the first thing I see, do you understand what this means? Do you understand what it means when it's the first fucking thing on your list? God damn it! No! No! You're not supposed to do this. It, it's funny because, as I have read through this before, you can see the shadow of understanding. Understanding that <clears throat> there is, in fact, a distinction between two communities, like English and Japanese. And this, this whole fucking thing is about a clash of English and Japanese culture, or some subsets of it, anyway. So, there is no possible way there could be a common sense between every party involved in this. So there is no possible way that you could even begin to define it, because you yourself acknowledge it that it doesn't exist. Thankfully, this is just the short version. Let's look at the medium version. Let's, let's try it, okay. Have common sense. Explanation for common sense. The streamer doesn't understand you, so messages like do this or say this are pointless. That's a face bomb, by the way. So, first, first of all. Just because you don't understand the streamer doesn't mean the streamer doesn't understand you. So this is just wrong. In fact, quite a few streamers do understand some level of... We're, let's assume English that you are here referring to. S setting that aside, the only possible way you could know that they don't understand you is if you say something to them and then they don't understand what you said. So it's not pointless to say those things because that's literally the only possible way that you will know that they don't understand the thing that you've said. And no, just because they don't understand 
one English word doesn't mean they don't understand all the English words. That's also not how language works. So, so, so let me just emphasize how this is neither true nor common sense. Live streams do not have subtitles. What does this have to do with anything? Okay, let's extrapolate what, what could he possibly mean? I assume it's a he. Who fucking cares? Let's say, let's, let's imagine. Let's imagine. Ooh. Here we're looking at uh, two possible interpretations. Interpretation number one. The person watches a stream without subtitles, but doesn't realize it doesn't have subtitles and needs to be pointed out as part of common sense. That's pretty fucking stupid. Number two. <laughs> the person watches a stream without subtitles is upset that there's no subtitles and they take out their upsetness to the chat. How is this part of common sense? This doesn't explain any... Listen, I refuse to believe that such a person exists. You're gonna have to screenshot me a person who went to a fucking live stream like that and produced more then a handful of messages stating, Hey, where's the subtitles for English in a live broadcast? Fucking do it. But the very fact that such people exist once again proves that there is no common sense. Because if there was, these people wouldn't fucking exist, you fucking... God damn it. The English and Japanese communities have different memes. This is what I was talking about when I mentioned that such a thing like common sense can exist. It's ironic that you put it under common sense. So it's common sense that there's no common sense. Wow. Great. Great. Obviously not. Because <laughs> people still fucking use it. Oh my god. I'm going to skip this one because... There is short version, there is medium version, and there is a long version. And the long version has a side note on memes. So whatever I may say here may technically be more explained in the side note. So I'm not going to bother here right now. I'm just going to say that the very fact that you put this here contradicts the whole point of this point. <laughs> Common courtesy. Oh, yes. Even if the streamer could understand you, you shouldn't pester them to do things, okay? I'll note that another thing at the end is, don't spam. These are basically the same thing. What you're saying is don't spam the streamer. And you know what? That's literally the one thing that I agree with without any comment whatsoever. Don't spam. Don't write the same or similar message over and over and over again with non-significant time amount in between of them. Do mind though, do mind though, this isn't common courtesy. If there is such a thing as common courtesy, which I don't think there is, then the closest thing to it would be the notion of not spamming. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't use the chat feature myself, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's such an inherent thing to chats that you literally can't write messages in quick succession because th the chat itself will prevent you from doing that. Sure, I could think of a few technical workarounds, you know, it's, it's, it's all possible, but but if that is the case, then what is this rule referring to? Well, obviously, what you consider spam, because it's not important what YouTube consider spam. What's important, of course, is what this random person on the internet or some random person on Reddit consider spam. Yes, 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 yes. Of course. This is why it's not common courtesy. Because if it were common, the chat itself would prevent it. And everything that the chat doesn't prevent, there's a good chance someone doesn't think 
that spam, thus preventing the commonness from ever being. And finally, stay on topic. Stream chat is not for discussing your life or other VTubers. Once again, there's a paragraph about this down the line, and I will address it down the line, and I will show you why this is not in any way, shape, or form common, or could be common, ever. Let's get to the long version. The short version is all you need, as long as you actually follow it. No. I can prove it to you. If the short version was all that you needed, you wouldn't have written a medium version. You wouldn't have written a long version. You fucking know how fucking garbage that short version is. Because you literally wrote two other way more in-depth versions. And in those versions, you mention things that have nothing to do with the things you mentioned in the short version. So no, no, it is not all you need. Don't fucking lie in the first fucking sentence that you even put on bold. But there are some points that could benefit for more detail of... Listen, you son of a bitch. Have you... Do you understand what a contradiction is? Clearly you don't. <clears throat> Aside, great, we, we just fucking started, let's just go off in a third fucking direction and start talking about asides. Let's fucking go. I'll be blunt, yes, VTubers are real people playing characters. I understand that this tends to make people curious, but if the VTuber does not publicly reveal personal details, please do not pry. That would be invading their privacy. Fuck no, it wouldn't. What the fuck are you talking about? Asking questions of people isn't invading their privacy. Learning things about them invades their privacy. Going into a places that they're consider private and snooping around there invades their privacy. Forcing them with a gun put next to their head to answer all of their secrets invades their privacy and a few other fucking crimes, but who fucking gives a shit? Asking things doesn't invade jack shit. You could ask me about my penis size. That wouldn't invade my privacy. For one, I would fucking tell you because I don't give a shit. For two, even if I didn't tell you, I wouldn't fucking tell you so you wouldn't know, so you wouldn't have invaded my privacy. Wow, what the fucking, what a fucking simple fucking idea. Jesus. And no, 5G dug up this information does not count as publicly revealing. No idea what 5G is. Is that like a Japanese, uh, some kind of, uh, image board or something? The fuck knows. If it doesn't come directly from the VTuber, it is doxing. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. What's the definition of doxing in Urban Dictionary? Help me. Oh, wow, you don't even need Urban Dictionary these days. Search for and publish private or identify information about a particular individual on the internet, typically with malicious intent. I don't agree with that definition. Who the fuck wrote this? It's from Oxford. It's, these fucking idiots don't know what they're talking Where's Urban Dictionary? Doxing is a technique of tracing someone or gather information about an individual using sources on the internet. Its name is derived from documents or docs. Doxing methods based purely on the ability of the hacker what? To recognize valuable information about his target and use this information to his benefit. It is also based around the idea the more you know about your target, the easier it will be to find his or her flaws. See, now this makes sense because it also explains the the reason it's called doxing is because it's derived from documents. In other words, collecting documents on the internet. I have no idea why the fuck you have the necessity to call the person doing this a hacker. No, no, that's that's not hacking. Just just no. <laughs> It could be, but but no. Anyway, if we take the Urban Dictionary definition, which is the only 
one that I accept. I don't accept Google's definition because that's just made up bullshit. I can identify immediately two separate types of doxing, if you, if you will. So one set of doxing is simply akin to research, taking your time and looking through all available public information available to anyone and putting it together. The second type would be something more akin to hacking. In other words, getting access to actually private information through, well, less than savory means, let's say. Now, I have no idea what 5G does, so I can't speak for them, but if, if I take the sentence, the second sentence on its own, if it doesn't come directly from the VTuber, it is doxing, uh, maybe, but I don't care. If it is simply information that's put together from sources that are available to everyone publicly, it doesn't matter. None of that shit matters. I'm talking something like figuring out that this particular VTuber was working under a different name and maybe that name has been publicly revealed or something. Who gives a shit? It's all publicly, all available information and it's irrelevant and I'm not sure why anyone would care about that. So as at the very least, I would put that as an aside. Your, the way you've structured this paragraph, it seems like doxing to you is like a sin. And I disagree with that fundamentally. There's a bad kind of doxing and a good kind of doxing. Well, maybe good is a bit stretching it, but at the very least, it's not the kind of doxing that I feel like, uh, is actionable. Just know that the vast majority of VTubers do not make their online identities public, much less personal information. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. From, from what I've seen of the VTubers, they like to talk about themselves quite a bit. Like, when they sit down and they talk to people. You know, just talk. What? Did they fake their entire families and everything. All of that is actually fictional. It's all actors down to the fucking last person. Maybe. Maybe. But uh, I would only be inclined to believe that if that were reasonably uh, suggested by the evidence. Which it isn't, because there's pretty much no reason to go that far. As a result, yes, they do release a significant amount of personal information, which then, of course, can lead to them being identified. So this is just wrong, and there's no punchline, unless the punchline was it's doxing. But like I said, there's nothing wrong with doxing if you're just collecting public information available to everyone, researching it, and compiling it. That's just research. What the fuck, dude? Not to mention that even if we do take that into account, what does this have to do with streamers? It's like, what kind of information are you going to dig up from the stream chat on the stream? <sighs> like, like, what, what, what does this have to do with anything? It is really an aside and a really, really pointless one. Even taking the worst case scenario where, let's say, through some mysteriously convenient means, we figure out that this particular person behind this VTuber channel is an exact person with this name and this age and this place and etc. And someone goes to their fucking stream chat and says, Hey, are you blah blah blah? First of all, they'd probably do it in Japanese because they would be infinitely more likely to actually know about it in Japan. How would you expect to know about things about people that are in Japan when you're fucking not in Japan? But for the sake of argument, let's say they do it in English. Maybe they won't, maybe the person won't even understand it and none of it will matter if the people don't find it. But if they do find it, it's maybe public information. If it's not public information, then as you've said, there is a, there, there's a certain sense of uh, uncertainty about this information. You haven't explored this topic 
and all. You just literally said, is doxing, guys. Don't do it. Don't talk about it. Boogeyman. Boogie doxy man. Seriously. Stop. Stop and think for a moment. None of this makes sense. None of it. It's just there to scare you. Let's move on. Something that's not in the side. So how do I communicate with the streamer? Be polite, don't spam or pester, and a kind person in chat might translate for you. Or just use Google Translate. Listen, what's the worst that can happen? You're gonna write an English text that they don't understand, or a Japanese text that they don't understand. But at least there's a chance. I'm a genius, why don't you praise me? Just remember that there might be no translators in chat, and even if there are, don't be offended if they would rather focus on watching the stream and can't translate for you. I don't understand. What does this have anything to do with etiquette? Again. Great, okay, I'm offended that people don't translate my garbage English comments. Now what? What, what of it? Once again, am I going to belligerently start mashing, mashing my keyboard in response to this complete injustice? No. No. To begin with, before they would get offended, they would just go to Google Translate like I just fucking told them to do. <laughs> like, like, what are you talking about? How are you inventing these non-existent issues? Like, I bet you saw one lunatic actually complaining about it in one stream and he was like, oh no, those English people. Once again, they have come upon us with their inane pestering and they cannot stop. Ah. There's supposed to be some irony in there, I guess, yes. It's also possible that the streamer can understand simple phrases in English. Simple emphasis on simple. Okay. So, what's a simple phrase in English? If you just want to tell them cute or cool or good job, then you can probably get your message across. Your your usage of possible and probably isn't very convincing and conveying the message you think you're trying to convey. You're technically right, but it doesn't help. <laughs> it doesn't help. You see, the problem that you have here is that you think that these people know English. Which doesn't make sense if you think about it. Think about it. They already don't know Japanese. Why would you think they also know English? Huh? See, there's a, there's logic that you didn't consider. The, the point of my complaint here is, of course, that just because you know English doesn't mean that you know what is simple English. Because not everyone learns languages in a way where they can distinguish the two, which is... I guess something a bilingual person may have a hard time understanding. So I'm just saying, simple phrases, it's not that simple, it's not that simple. Regardless, the streamer is not a trained monkey. You don't know that. You don't fucking know that. You literally don't know their real identities. So shut the fuck up. This applies to all streamers, not just VTubers. Please don't pester them to say things or do things for your amusement. Once again, this comes back to don't spam. That's it. I feel like people will make some kind of distinction here. Like, what he actually says is that you shouldn't ask the VTuber to do things at all. Why the fuck not? He specifically uses the word pester, which implies that you're doing it a lot over and over again, and it's probably starting to piss them off, which doesn't even make sense because they probably don't understand as by your own admission. So, so none of this makes sense is what I'm trying to say. You're, you're not setting up a consistent model of the system, which is the VTubers and streamers in general, maybe. You're just putting random things here. Oh, this would be cool. Oh, this matches with my values. But but it doesn't make any sense. 
and I can tell you exactly why it doesn't make any sense. Because if you gave this a, a question, is this pestering the person to say things or do things for your amusement to 10 different people, significantly different people, so we're talking from all over the world maybe, you would get at least five different answers from them. Because once again, going back to the very start of this video, like I said, there is no such thing as common sense or common courtesy. You just think it is because the people around you act very similarly to something akin to it. But that's just your small little world. If streamer can't understand me, why do I have to stay on topic? It creates a good environment for other English speakers who are watching. Citation needed. I don't give a fuck what other people s say. I literally don't know what you're complaining about because I literally don't look at the chat most of the time. So, staying on topic wouldn't create a good environment for me. And I'm an English speaker, so at least for someone it doesn't contribute, or, well, create a good environment. It doesn't. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. They're just random comments people put in the stream. Who cares? Who gives a shit? Watch the fucking stream, not the fucking comments, you dork. Even if someone is just lurking, oh, hi, in chat or watching the VOD, it's a much nicer experience to see other English-speaking fans enjoying talking about what's happening in the stream and not their lunch or that game of Apex they played yesterday. Screenshot needed. And, and I assume that when you say they're talking about lunch, it's not in a stream where, let's say, the VTuber is eating themselves. And when they talk about game of Apex they played yesterday, it's not on the stream of Apex or a similar pub, like PUBG or something like that. I assume you're literally saying, oh, well, here's an anime girl singing something. Uh, what's, what's flashy these days? Let's see. Uh, Japanese songs singing best songs, the best Japanese songs of all time, 2019. Look, Google betrayed me here. What can I say? They're singing that shit and someone comes in. Oh man, this song reminds me of the Apex game I played yesterday when I killed all those people listening to this exact video in the background. I just don't believe that this shit is happening to the extent where any of this matters and you're not just nitpicking random bullshit. And I'll tell you why. Because later down the line, you very explicitly say some things that I personally disagree with. <laughs> this is maybe obvious, but yeah. <laughs> and in saying those things, I think you reveal the actual aspect and the actual grip with which you want to tighten the chat to an extent that, uh, well, control this motherfucker. But yeah, let, let me just reiterate. I don't give a fuck what's happening in the chat. I wouldn't give a fuck what's happening in the chat if they were discussing Plato. And it was a Plato stream for some reason. Which, according to you, would make a nicer experience. And no, I don't care. And if you do, I feel that's a problem that you need to work on. You need to start ignoring the fucking chat because it's fucking chat, dude. You have a whole fucking wad in front of you. And yes, yes, the streamers put the chat in the wad. Fucking take a piece of paper, cut out the part where they put, like, the size of the, where they put it, cover it up, bam, wham, solved. And that's just a troll solution. The actual solution is, don't look at the fucking part of a screen where it is. Jesus Christ. It's not like it's the whole fucking stream. And even if it was, you could just minimize it and listen to it. Because that's all it would be anyway. Jesus Christ, man. Complaining about a fucking chat while watching VODs, dude. God. Ridiculous. On the other hand, if other viewers, viewer, uh, other viewers see people using chat as their personal Twitter or spamming memes, they'll decide it's okay for them to do the same. This spoils the fun for both the streamer and everyone else in the chat. It doesn't, because I don't care. Like, like you, you've still... See, the point with making these statements and not in any way, shape, or form... How to put it? 
establishing them is that every single thing you say on from here on out will be refuted by the same exact thing. I don't care. And now you you may think, okay, well, <laughs> this one random schmuck on the internet doesn't care, but other people care. Majority of people care. Prove it. Fucking prove it. And no, it's not proved just because I saw a bunch of people complaining about it. That's just the vocal minority. Vocal minority is always vocal. Prove that it's a majority of people. Prove that there's an issue. Prove that actually any of the VTubers care about this issue insofar as they would take action. Prove that the companies that are representing these YouTubers, or actually the YouTubers are representing the companies, but you get what I mean, care about this. Prove to me that this isn't just some sort of moral indignation, that it will actually be a nicer experience. Right now you're just talking out of your ass because one day somebody opened the fucking stream, saw a bunch of English chats talking about Apex and the lunch date during that Apex game, got pissed off, wrote a bunch of fucking Twitter or Reddit comments, you read them, and now you're here copy-pasting them as if they're fucking gospel. Like they actually happen all the time, like you actually have any data. You don't. If you did, you would have fucking put it in here, because cause it's the long explanation and it's where you would put the fucking data if you would have it. You fucking don't know shit. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying I don't believe you, because you're not believable. Because you're not actually even trying to be believable, because you're just talking out of your ass. If we were just having a casual chat over some tea, fine. You can talk this shit and complain to me. Oh man, this one time I opened a fucking stream and just fucking English comment, god fucking damn it. Fine. But don't put a fucking official streamer etiquette and explain what you're supposed to do and it, like this shit this makes no sense. An on-topic chat also helps people follow what's going on in the stream. If the viewers who understand some Japanese comment about what's happening, then the viewers who don't understand anything can see their reactions and enjoy the stream more. What? I actually don't understand what it says. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> let, let, let me, let me, let me, let me trace this back a little bit. An topic chat also helps follow what's going on in the stream. Let, oh, well, n once again, no, because I don't look at the chat. So, so, so once again, no. It's perfectly possible to follow what's going on in the stream without looking at the chat whatsoever. Unless it's a stream in which there's literally chat to VTuber or something. But you see, the problem here is that if those things were so disruptive, then the stream itself would fall apart, wouldn't it? Maybe there's some deeper point in the second sentence. Okay, so viewers who understand some Japanese comment about what's happening, then the viewers who don't understand anything can see their reactions and enjoy the stream more. Okay, I get it now. <clears throat> so you're saying if some people translate to English, and the only English that appears there is well, the ones that translated, then people will be able to understand better what's going on. Because otherwise they won't understand what's going on. This presumes that there are people who would watch the stream in a language they don't understand and would follow the chat nearly religiously in hopes that someone will post something but then they would miss the translation of what's happening because it would be lost in a sea of comments that are unrelated. And in that sense, they would lose some part of experience which they couldn't get until, let's say, someone makes a clip with the translation of the video. I think the contradiction here is specifically, that you assume that that piece of information somehow gets lost 
even though the person is paying attention to the chat, which doesn't make sense and could be solved through other means. For example, there could be some sort of uh, official person that we all know and look for his uh, uh, declarations about the happenstances or a set of such people. We could call them translators or something. Look, far be it for me to suggest uh, solutions to it, but uh, what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is I don't think that even in the worst case scenario you could be expected to miss this aspect. And this doesn't even get to the worst case scenario. One thing I will agree that there is some logic to this. It's just that uh, I think that the scenario in which this would actually be detrimental is too contrived for it to matter. All right, this is this is the part that's uh, really rustling my jimmies. It's also very rude to randomly start talking about a different streamer. Not only is it disrespectful to the streamer you're watching, if people wanted to talk about that other streamer, they would be in their chat, not here. This is just complete and utter nonsense. Listen, here's a few aspects that you failed to mention. What does it really mean to randomly start talking about a different streamer? Does it mean I'm watching some VTuber and suddenly say, Hey, you seen that last PewDiePie video or something? I, I don't even know if PewDiePie streams, actually, so... <laughs> fuck. <laughs> but, but, but... There's a world of difference from something like that and something like mentioning a another VTuber that's, let's say, under the same company. Maybe because you've made streams or videos with that VTuber. You here being the VTuber streaming. Maybe because you're expecting them to be together. And maybe you want to ask about some potential collab action. The way that you put this here, it's it's almost like until they say the name, you have to pretend they don't exist. Ah yes, this VTuber is definitely the only VTuber that exists in Hololive. Oh wait, she mentioned another person. Okay, now it's two VTubers. <laughs> That's ridiculous. The, the notion is absolutely ridiculous. There's no actual reasonable line drawn here about what 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 it means to randomly start talking about a different streamer. Again, most people won't randomly actually randomly start talking, let alone about different streamers. Most people have a reason they start talking about something. It's just apparent randomness, which has nothing to do with randomness and could actually be completely reasonable. The fact that there's no guidelines on what makes sense is what really annoys me about this fucking guide, if you want to call it that. Because there is something that is reasonable here. There are lines that shouldn't be crossed. I'm not some sort of advocate for complete anarchy. But this isn't helpful. You're not helping anyone. The way you're doing it, you're just completely shutting down everything. That doesn't seem reasonable at all. And saying that it's disrespectful to the streamer you're watching? How so? What, just because I mentioned someone else than you, that means like that you're somehow now a lesser being? Because I'm not, I'm not paying attention to the stream's topic. <gasps> what if the stream doesn't have a specific topic? What if the stream has an open topic? What if the stream is vaguely related to another person, because this other person did the similar stream at some point, and now I remember it. Like, there's so many aspects that you will never be able to actually point, like, how to put it, to, to, to nail down. That's ludicrous that you consider this not only rude, but disrespectful. It's almost like you're saying that we should worship the person streaming. Hmm. 
Now that's an interesting idea, but I would not call that idea common sense or common courtesy. Certainly not. And your final note about being in the other person's chat, what if they're not streaming? Now what? That is just dumb comment. This is fucking stupid. There is no chat for them to be in. So what the fuck are you talking about? Finally, it's worth mentioning that some streamers check their own mods after the stream is over so they can read chat in detail. They might even use Google Translate to read comments in other languages. I've seen streamers pause to Google Translate a comment live. So chat, with that in mind, what is there to have in mind? Are you like saying, Reverse engineer Google Translate such that your English comment would perfectly translate into a Japanese comment that would be understood if it were to be inputted into Google Translate to translate to ja English to Japanese. No, that's fucking stupid. So wh what else is there to have in mind? This is like some Loki saying, don't paste, don't, don't write down a comment. Nobody will see this, but I'm gay, or something like that. Like, like, wh what are you, what are you talking about? How does this have anything to do with the topic at hand? Other than saying, oh yes, these great streamers, they all go through their own wads after the stream. Okay. What of it? What difference does it make about what you would say or wouldn't say in chat. In fact, if anything, this says you should write more random nonsense in chat because they will go through it in the VODs. So it actually undermines your own fucking message that you're trying to put forth here. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? A side note on memes. Once again, another side note in the middle. Memes are fun. We all love them. But just remember that what's a meme among the English community is not necessarily me among the Japanese community, okay? A certain moment may have made the streamer famous to English audiences, but to the Japanese audience and the streamer themselves, it may not have been anything memorable. Of course, the reverse is also true, okay? So, so even if it's relevant to the VTuber, don't be surprised if they don't understand your memes at all, even if you translate them. Your messages may even be treated as spam, so meme responsibly. What the hell are you talking about, you absolute lunatic? Meme responsibly. That in of itself is a fucking meme. What are you talking about? What do you mean they'll be treated as spam? They'll be treated as spam if you fucking spam them. It doesn't matter if you spam a meme or you spam not a meme. If you spam it, it's going to be spam. And if you don't spam it, it's not going to be spam. What the fuck? Meme but what the fuck does that mean? The concept of responsibility has nothing to do with memes. So the idea of memers, like, are you memeing in this fucking thing? I don't even understand. Is this like an ironic joke? It's like, ah, <laughs> meme responsibly, am I right, guys? <laughs> what the fuck? If you're gonna do that, you should probably, like, uh, read this thing out, because then, you know, it's more obvious when you're being serious and when you're not being serious. So it's because you can change the intonation of the thing that you're saying. And then you, you, it's it's really easy to understand unless someone's being ironic. But they usually point it out. You know, it's, 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 it, it's, it's easy. Let's move on. Any other English speakers? I understand that it can be lonely in chat if it feels like nobody else speaks your language. I don't understand. <laughs> like, like, what do you mean? Why do you care, like, that there's, like, other English people or not? It doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter. What matters is, does the streamer speak English or not? And even then, it barely matters. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, uh, let's see what else you say. So simple. Are there any other English speakers here? Before stream or right at the start is perfectly fine. Why is it not fine in the middle? See, see, I, I don't understand, like, what, what's your rule here? I know my rules. At the end of this video, I will give you actual guidelines that make actual sense. Because otherwise, this video would just be 
shitting on etiquette posts, which I I don't care to do. It's just funny, but <laughs> but here it doesn't make sense. It's like it's like like you you set it up as if like you should ask if other people are here because you're sad and you're lonely, but don't do it. <laughs> Suffer through your loneliness. What what the fuck? <laughs> I'm neither lonely nor I give a shit, nor would I ask, even if I didn't. F fuck, I'd bring other English people with myself if, if I cared to. I'd watch with someone else. What? <laughs> okay, this does not mean spam. What does it matter that you spam it or not if it's before stream or right at the start? Right at the start, everyone spams. Hello, hi. Good evening in in Japanese. <laughs> so so like whatever you're going to say, you're not going to be able to outspam it. So there's it doesn't matter, and it does not mean messages like, "Where the English get? Am I the only one here who speaks English?" <laughs> Lol, I don't read Moon. Speak English, you guys. I I, I don't. I don't see it. Like all, all of those are actually exactly the same, except that lol, I don't read Moon because it's more funny. It'd be double funny if you did it on a Pokemon stream. <laughs> I like puns. No, but seriously, who cares how you ask the message? I'm sorry, how you ask the question? How you phrase the message is what I wanted to say. I guess. Who cares? This sure looks like a Japanese culture trying to. T like a Japanese person telling me how to speak in English. Because cause it sounds like, be all polite. No, motherfucker. You want to speak your goddamn Japanese language in your goddamn polite ways? You fucking knock yourself out. I'm going to insert fuck every single other sec... Uh, every single... Every other fucking word. Because that's what my language was made for. And you ain't going to take that fucking culture away from me, you motherfucker. Fucking cultural... Bigot thing is you can fucking tell me how to fucking speak fucking English. Fuck no. And lol, I don't read moon. I don't read sun either. <laughs> God damn it, I need to stop. If the stream is in progress and you see other people chat in English, that means yes, there are other English speakers, so no need to ask. No, that's not how it works. You see some other people message in English? They could have literally messaged and then left. Now, it's unlikely, but they could have disconnected due to network issues. They could have, you know, had other problems. There's literally no point at which you could be sure whether or not English people would be there or not. The reason you shouldn't ask is because even if you ask the question, there's no telling if someone will answer truthfully or not, or answer or whether the answer ever happened. In other words, nobody actually asks this question because they want to know if other people are English here. No, they want to signal the fact that there are English people here. So actually, yes, saying, lol, I don't read moon, kind of is the closest meaning to what it actually means to ask that question in a reasonable case and sense. Now, look, look okay, if we really want to go semantical on this, sure, there's no need to ask for it. But then again, there's literally no need to do anything. You could stop breathing right now, die, and your meaningless existence would come to an end. You don't need to continue living. Nobody's gonna fucking force you. But who gives a shit about that? It's not about what you need, it's about what you fucking want. And if you fucking want to announce to the fucking world that there's a fucking English person that inserts fucking every other word in his fucking sentence, knock yourself out, man. And make sure that you do it in the most funny way possible, which is lol I don't read moon. God damn it. I'm tempted now to go to every single stream and <laughs> just stay that low. Lol, I don't read... Not, even in English streams. J j just because it's funny. It's it's the most funny fucking shit. I, I, I fucking love it. It's, it's fucking hilarious. Anyway, <laughs> that 
let's 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 set aside that aspect because that's just one half of the problem with that sentence and the other half is that if there aren't people chatting in english which is in your second sentence you can either lurk quietly or be the first brave person to speak up maybe some other people will speak up too what do you think saying lol i don't read moon is it's speaking up you make literally no sense dear personage good lord at the end of the day it may seem like i've written a wall of text about don't do this and don't do that but again all of it should be common sense and common co no none of this is common it's not even correct let alone sense let alone common dear fucking god man this is what i'm talking about my problem with this thing isn't the fact that you want some sort of rules once again it's the fact that you you fucking <clears throat> write down bullshit like have common sense and have common courtesy in a fucking serious manner like you've written some kind of shakespearean poem when really it's just fucking masturbatory like think about it do you really fucking think that people who come to the streams and say lol i don't read moon are going to suddenly come to this revelation my goodness what have i done i have put forth a comment of english nature which the person i aimed it at has no chance of understanding or interpreting woe is me what how could i have committed such atrocity oh. <laughs> i must find a way to remedy to clear my name to to embrace the culture through a way of etiquette quick google tell me what is the stream etiquette in the vtuber community have common sense have common courtesy what the fuck does that mean this is what i mean by masturbatory it nobody absolutely nobody is going to look for this thing people who will be linked this like the people who will know it they will know it because somebody links it to them and when they'll open this fucking page thinking oh wow i'll learn something and the first two things they read is have common sense and common courtesy they will literally close it and never open it again because nobody fucking understands what that means if if they did if there was such a thing you wouldn't need to fucking say it that's the whole point and that's the fucking paradox why it doesn't exist good fucking lord anyway uh the next thing uh, you say is that you don't have to memorize a rule book to participate in a stream just be a decent person sure i i agree memorizing a rule book would be complete ass but that doesn't mean that you can reduce rules to something that makes no sense and then expect people to follow it it doesn't make sense it, it, it doesn't make sense and i'm not talking about common sense i'm talking about straight pure logic it does not compute even if the streamer can't understand most of what you say they can tell who's actually engaging who's just spamming press x to doubt so if you want to show your support to show that you're having fun go ahead to get excited in chat laugh along cheer along and enjoy the stream in particular do it by saying lol i don't read moon it's, it's my favorite i'm sorry <laughs> no but seriously look look i have nothing against you guys i understand you're just a person of little experience you don't understand what the problem is and you may look at all these things that i've said in jest as how to put it inflammatory like i'm attacking you but i'm not i don't i don't know you don't know me i can tell you though that just me personally i have a very very different outlook on things than most people that's why to me it's very obvious that there's no such thing as common sense because 
I know. It's, it's, it's so blatantly obvious to me. Cause I exist. I couldn't exist if common sense existed. To give you an example, to me, the biggest show of respect that I can give a person is to tell them to fuck off. Not literally tell them to fuck off, but to tell them to fuck off. To be able to say that to their face. To me, that is the greatest show of respect. And conversely, to speak in extreme politeness is the greatest show of disrespect. I can explain that quite simply. It's, it's a matter of familiarity. I believe that, uh, I believe very much in equality of human beings. All of them. But, uh, when it comes down to respect, at, at the end of the day, I respect people with whom I can be familiar. And I don't respect people with whom I can't be familiar because they reject the type of person that I am, for example. If, 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 if you want to go in a very basic explanation of that idea. So don't take any of this video as me trying to shit on you. If, if anything, you should take it uh, as uh, a sign of recognition. Cause I, I recognize the uh, burden that you've taken upon yourself. It's to try and establish something to help. But it's not going to work, and I've outlined why. It's it's just not going to work. It's not going to have the effect you expect. In fact, if anything, I think uh, this kind of... The way that you've done this, it's only going to create a further rift with people. Because they'll look at it, <laughs> and they'll think you're making fun of them. Which, if you are, you're best troll of 2020. But I don't think so. L let's just say that even if you are, and there are a bunch of people who obviously do believe this, and think that this is reasonable and a good idea. L like I said, it's very masturbatory, and by that I mean, like, you know, it's, it's, it's something that you would have in a circle jerk, where you just don't really care about dissenting opinions. You just wanna, you wanna, Show that virtue, show that virtue. So, that's the way I see this. Allow me to bestow upon you the greatest wisdom that I possess of how to actually do stream etiquette with VTubers. First and foremost, fuck rules. I don't deal in rules. Rules are always a bad idea. They, they, in most people, they usually, uh, they create this mood of defiance, like, this is what you must do, this is what you must not. And very often they miss the mark. How couldn't they? If you really wanted rules, you would have to give them out person by person. Instead of rules, you should have guidelines. Guidelines are a much better way to uh, push things forward. Even if they're technically phrased the same, the very fact that it's a guideline implies that you can absolutely break it, if you have a reason for it. That's, that's what I would say. So let's, let's tackle what I would consider reasonable guidelines for stream etiquette for VTubers. Number one guideline would be read the fucking description of the stream. That would be the absolute number one that you don't seem to mention at all, actually. And that is, uh, rather than inventing a bunch of rules or whatever yourself, why don't you ask the person that's running the stream what they think their stream should be like. That is the best way. I mean, I don't agree very often with the, the rules set out by streamers, but at the very least, it makes sense to refer to those rules, because uh, you will be able to predict the behavior of the streamer, and you won't uh, essentially run into situations which would be bad. So that should be always the first and foremost guideline. Go to the description, check if there's anything there about how you should behave. Guideline number two is uh, don't spam. Uh, this is uh, obvious. I mean, even you mentioned it, but you didn't put it up front, and I think that it's uh, one of the key elements, uh, and uh, it should be up front as the basic requirement. It probably already, already is impossible to really spam due to probably some technical limitations, but I, mean, I, I, I don't know, because I don't use the chat. The third guideline that I would use is chat with the streamer, not with the viewers. This is a really interesting one to some people, but 
personally, I see the chat not as a big, massive chunk of people talking with each other. I see it more as a, a one-to-many channel, a one-way channel <laughs> of many people talking to one streamer. I think it makes perfect sense. I think uh, conversations in the chat between viewers don't make sense. Why? Because there's so many people usually there that any conversation you would try to have would be extremely hard to keep track of while also, you know, partaking in the stream activities. That in of itself makes no sense. Like, you know, you, you write something at a person, well, a bunch of other people are going to write something else. Maybe they will communicate to the streamer, maybe something else. Whatever it is, there's going to be a huge block of random messages of varying relevance between your conversation. So it really makes no sense to even attempt to have that conversation. The reason it's so prevalent, I think, uh, probably is because YouTube and similar websites just don't have very good chat support. It's just the basic chat. So that's why a uh, conversation naturally emerged, because what are you else are you going to do if you want to say something to viewers? It would be nice to have a certain technical distinction between the two. You know, you could have a chat between ourselves in one place and chat with the streamer in a different place and uh, that would be perfect but hey i'm just a software engineer <laughs> don't listen to me i don't run youtube <laughs> youtube is a perfect website am i right <laughs> anyway until that is the case i would say that uh, a reasonable guideline of talk to the streamer not to other viewers uh would uh better represent the purpose of what the chat is really for as it stands. And once again, it's not a rule, it's a guideline. So as, as, as long as that is the majority of the chat, it should be fine. I would also guess that that is already the case, but I can't verify it because fortunately I can't read Japanese. <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a fucked up language, you know, it's got like three fucking alphabets and one of them's got thousands of thousands of hieroglyphs in them. <laughs> they don't make sense. None of them make sense. Uh, uh. Unable to verify, unfortunately, the extent to which this is an issue or not. But I can say that if, if, if the majority of conversations were between the streamer and the viewer and not between the viewers, I think probably most of your problems would immediately go away. And I think you'll agree, why the fuck would you be having that conversation there? It's neither easy, nor it's reasonable. And there is no for guideline. I genuinely believe that just having these basic guidelines will eliminate most of the issues. Now, it won't eliminate the fact that the person doesn't understand you, but again, there's there's nothing you can do that will fix this. No amount of telling people about common sense will actually give them the common sense because it doesn't exist. What you can hope to do, however, is to minimize it. And I think that by taking those two guidelines, and that is focusing on the conversation between the viewer and the streamer, and not spamming, you would achieve this goal. And that's it. Notice how there's no guessing, there's no arbitrary rules like or definitions like common whatever. It's very straightforward. Don't spam, which means don't write the same message over and over multiple times in quick succession and focus on talking to the streamer, not to other viewers. It's two simple rules, guidelines. In fact, it wouldn't be even difficult for someone to take those guidelines and put them in the chat before the stream starts or whatever. Who knows how many people would see it? Who knows how helpful it would be? But uh, at the very least, it's not something that you know requires prior knowledge or understanding of the subject. It's easy to follow if you if you just do these simple things. Things will work out. And it's easy to understand, because 
Well, maybe not that simple, but uh, the questions that it raises aren't inflammatory. <laughs> like asking, why can't I talk with other viewers? The answer is, well, how do you expect to talk with them if, if there's going to be a bunch of people writing messages? Do you really expect to hold a conversation in between? Do you expect to have a conversation in the middle of a fucking open metro field across the metro field? No. It's not even called a field. It's it's like, what is that fucking thing? Oh my god. Station something? I forget. Look, look you, you know what I'm talking about. You're not going to have those conversations. You shouldn't be having them here because it makes no sense. The people won't hear each other and miss context, etc., etc. And by no means you shouldn't take that these are the ultimate guidelines and I've figured out the, the elixir of life. The philosopher's stone lieth in my hands. No, it's it's just, to me, just the most reasonable, easy to explain set of guidelines that anyone can follow without having any prior understanding, without delving into the details, and it's easy to communicate and if even necessary, easy to explain in a way that doesn't require some sort of exter extensive data research about whether or not this makes sense or not. And yes, it doesn't address the things that you consider rude, but no, but we'll never agree on what's really rude or whatever. This, that's the whole point again. So I, I think it should be left to the VTuber to decide if they want it. That's why the first guideline is always look in the description. And uh, funnily enough, you can optimize away that guideline, you know? If the VTuber has something in the description, then all you have to do is say, go look in the description. If they don't, you can just ignore the first guideline and put the other two. <laughs> Though, you know, that could cause issues if you don't always communicate it, but yet, yeah, look, nothing's perfect in life. I say this as a software engineer. You're always going to have to make trade-offs. Believe me in that one. So then that. Follow my simple three guidelines. And uh, if everybody magically starts following them, I believe you'll have a better time. Certainly a better time than following common sense. Just say. Just say. Just anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you later.